guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here or just passing through or this just showed up in your feed, my name is Glenda Sully and I will soon be celebrating my three year anniversary on YouTube. And we're going to be doing a live stream whenever I uh, decide that the right time is to celebrate it. Um, my actual anniversary is September the 27th. And I'm also going to be celebrating reaching 5 million views. So this is such a huge accomplishment. And we are definitely going to have a live stream as soon as I can work it all out and, and figure it out. Uh, that's the main thing that I'm, I'm looking to is I'll make sure I can figure it out on my laptop. Or I may be able to do it on my phone, but I don't think that I can keep up with the chat. And I definitely want to be able to recognize everyone and... I'll chat back and forth with you and acknowledge you and answer your questions. So that announcement will be made pretty soon, as, as soon as I can figure it all out. So I hope you like my little head uh, wrap here. It's not really a turban. I did try to do the top knot, but it just kept falling apart. I, I just couldn't get the hang of it. And I kind of think I don't have the right scarf because this is a long rectangular scarf. And um, the demos that I followed on YouTube were more of a, a square type scarf. So I have my rug on the wall. This is my beautiful rug from Karen Redding. Uh, this kitchen is seasoned with love and I just love it. Um, I did put it down on the floor in front of my stove, but I just couldn't have it there. I didn't want it to get dirty and in front of the stove is, is the prime target for catching everything that that drops off the stove and every time you're cutting up garlic and vegetables and everything they seem to land on the floor. So one of my subscribers suggested that I hang it on the wall so I put it on the, um, the partition between the kitchen living room area and the stairwell and I love it here. And then I have my other um, housewarming gifts which I already opened. I have them on display here. Y'all can get a little sneak peek. Uh, so I will be opening those and I do have my big box and it really wasn't that difficult to bring up the stairs. I just would put it on one stair and then step up behind it and put it on another stair and step out behind it. But I'm, I'm so excited to show y'all what is inside it. It is something that I have needed for so many years. Uh, so let's get busy and I'll start opening these gifts. Oh, and I wanted to point out I'm wearing my angel earrings from Tammy. Thank you so much, Tammy. These are among my favorite earrings. And then I have on my necklace from Susan. This is my um, necklace of protection and it only has... Um, not only has one protection uh, symbol here, but two, one on the chain right here. Uh, oh, and I have the pin in my hair here from Diane Parker. Thank you for this stick pin. Girl, it comes in handy. I mean, I use it on so many things, so thank you so much for that. I just appreciate everything. So let me get started on these gifts. Um, oh, but first, I have another prayer request. Um, First, I want to do a happy birthday shout out. The birthdays aren't until Monday, the 21st of September, but I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this video or if I will even do a video on Monday. So I don't want to forget to shout out a happy birthday to Karen Lara. Uh, Karen is my girlfriend up there in Virginia, Bristol, Virginia. Uh, thank you so much for being part of my life and our YouTube family here. And happy birthday. Uh, Y'all will remember she's the one with the rainbow colored hair. And if I still have her picture, I will post it at the end of this video. She's just so adorable, y'all. And she grew a nice, beautiful vegetable garden this year in pots. And she got a lot of veggies from um, the pot, potted, potted plants in a pot. <laughs> <laughs> vegetable plants in a pot. Um, also, Jamie Howard. Uh, now, Jamie is the husband of Jackie, who is always uh, supporting me and leaving comments on my channel. Now, Jamie, he loves doing laundry, y'all. So, he had prayed and prayed for him to get a little laundry job. And he got one about three or four weeks ago. He went to work doing laundry. But now, Jackie told me that 
um, the work has slowed down and Jamie's getting really worried that he's going to not have a job. So we need to pray for people to be getting all their clothes dirty and dropping them off wherever uh, Jamie works and that he will be able to continue to work and do his job that he loves so much. And also, Jamie's birthday is Monday, September the 21st. So happy birthday to Jamie and to Karen. Uh, so let's get into opening the housewarming gifts. Now these are from my subscriber, Anna Rose. Uh, she does wish for her full name and her, oops, um, her location to remain anonymous, and I will honor that. Uh, but she sent me these silicone spatulas. So let me go ahead and open them. This is so much fun going to the post office and <laughs> twice I go and, and the girl, the clerk goes, oh, we're gonna have to roll it out in a basket. You got so many boxes. <laughs> so they roll it out and I take it to the parking lot and there's always a generous man there willing to help me put the stuff in my trunk. Oh, look at these, y'all. All these different colors. These match my little mini colanders. All different colors. Aren't they beautiful? Thank you so much, Anna Rose. I just love those. A woman in the kitchen can never have too many spatulas, nor a man. Isn't that right, Suze? Y'all, I feel so privileged when I'm drinking out of a straw. I mean, it's like you're... You win the lottery if you go to a restaurant and are given a straw. <laughs> In fact, Jill stopped at a, there's a snowball stand actually here on Long Island and it's called Pelican. So Jill stopped by there and got herself a snowball and they wouldn't even give her a straw. I mean, so you're eating, you know, the, the flavors off the top of the snowball, but you want to slurp the syrup that's in the bottom of the cup. So she wasn't even able to do that. So next time she goes to Pelican, she's going to have to bring her own straw. Oh, look at this, a set of measuring cups. Y'all, I have a set, but I am always needing, you know, if you're measuring, um, especially if I'm doing a video, I want all of my ingredients pre-measured and, and ready to cook with so that y'all don't have to wait. Um, Oh, look, and these have the colored handles, too. They match the spatulas. So I love having more than one set of measuring cups. You always need, you know, a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, a cup of milk, whatever. Look at these, how precious. And I will be hanging these on my wall in the kitchen. Oh, I just love these, Anna. Oh, and look, the little measuring spoons to match. These are precious. Now, y'all, that noise that you heard the other day on the video where I said, ooh, there's a ghost. It, I have a, a measure of one-fourth measuring cup that I use for my coffee every morning, and I had stuck it on a little, it's not a command strip, it's a dollar store, Dollar Tree command strip. So I stuck it on the side of the refrigerator next to my coffee canister, and that's what fell off and made that loud bang the other day. <laughs> oh, a lemon-lime squeezer. I'll be using this today because I'm going to, um, well, I'm not sure I'll get around to it today, but the next time I make my lemon lime water. Oh, and look at this. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I really need this. I do have the, the lemon, but I don't have, you know, the limes are so small usually that, oh my goodness, you do need the combination. Y'all look at this Oneida set of stainless steel. I really needed this too. I, gosh, I haven't had a set of stainless steel in, I guess since I married little Scotty. <laughs> I don't even think John and I bought a set. I just carried over what was left over from the marriage to little Scotty. And this is beautiful. I'm gonna have to cut it. Oh, I bet it's wire. Let me see if I can cut it. Well, anyway, let me hold it up close. You can see the beautiful pattern. I love this hammered look around the edges. This is very, very nice. 18% chrome fine stainless steel. And Oneida, that's an amazing 
company too. They, they've been making great products for many, many years. Oh, and this set of mixing bowls. I don't know how you knew that I wanted these, Anna. Uh, Jill bought a set about six weeks ago, and I have been envious of them every, every time I go over there and, and use them. They are so nice. Y'all, look at this, how beautiful and nice. Boy, these put my pink mixing bowls to shame. Look, they're all different colors, and then they have the matching lids, color-coordinated lids. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and here's the big lid for the purple one. These are awesome, and they're heavy and good quality and durable. Thank you so much. Oh, and look, a set of knives, too. Wow. These are awesome. I love that they have the um, holder, the storage compartment for them. That way they won't be getting all um, pushed around in my drawer and getting scratched and everything. And I love the, they're similar to the ones that Chad gave me last year. So thank you so much. I really needed this extra set. Especially when Zeus comes to make candy, we're going to be using all these big old knives to cut into that nice dick. Um, nice deep thick fudge that he makes Ooh, and this is what was in the big box <laughs> oh look y'all a set of pots and pans by Forverware I mean an entire set 17 piece set so let's open this up and, and take a look and y'all know how bad I needed these pots and pans my um my skillet that I fry my bacon and eggs in every morning is all bowed up in the middle. So I crack my egg in there and it scoots off to the side. Oh, look, it has this griddle. These are beautiful. Practical and beautiful. Oh, y'all, look at the handle. I mean, I mean it when I say beautiful. Here's the Dutch oven. I like that it has the clear lid, too. Do y'all remember that old, um, I think I bought every kind of fad pots and pans that they came out with back in the 70s and 80s. Um, I think John and I got talked into buying this Magna light. Was that what it was called? A Magna aluminum or something? Heavy, heavy aluminum. <laughs> But you know, those things last forever and ever and ever. Oh, and I needed this cookie sheet also. Boy, now I don't have any excuse to not be in the kitchen cooking and baking, do I? These are pots. These have the glass lids too. Okay, so my storage filled up, and I don't know why, because I just purchased another gigabyte or whatever. So I had to go in and delete some stuff. I didn't need it anyway. <laughs> so, oh, this is so nice. But I love the size of this pot, this little tiny one. You know, I'm always just needing something quick and easy for myself. I'm just so happy. We'll definitely be putting the old boat up skillet in the trash. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Anna Rose. I, I just appreciate your generosity and your love and your support of my channel. I appreciate all of you. Um, I don't expect anything from anyone, but when I get it, it's such a nice, special treat. And I do not take y'all's generosity for granted. I'm always praying for you and just hoping for the best. And... We all know that whenever you give, that it will be given back to you tenfold. So y'all, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm not sure that I will show it, but it definitely does show in YouTube's analytics. And engagement means a lot to YouTube when it comes to selling and the bidding on who wants to advertise on our channel. So if you have time, please watch my ads. And every now and then, if you want to click onto it, uh, YouTube does keep up with the clicks um, 
that we receive, and that makes a big difference in how much the advertisers are willing to pay to run their ads on our channels. So y'all know that I do depend on my YouTube income more than ever now that I'm living in this gorgeous apartment that's very expensive. So thank you so much for being here and making my life so much better and much more enriched. I love you with all my heart, and y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.